Okay, so I'm going to show you our swimming setup. Uh, this is where the timer sits. Um, we're using an old uh, Colorado System 5 uh, and high tech swimming meat manager, and I tie into both of those for our broadcast. Uh, for the timing console, this wire right here, it's basically it's a serial cord that goes up to the to the scoreboard up there. And basically what I've done is just tapped into that and I've got a, I've tapped that feed uh, to get data for our graphics. The starters console. One of the things I've done here is I've taken I've used the external speaker on this so and tied that into the broadcast so that um, when the starter's talking you can hear it and you hear the beep when a gun goes off. This cord right here is our underwater camera. This is taking its maiden voyage today. You can see there it is down there. It's just got this, this little thing. Camera right there. A little piece of aluminum that I bent and just sits on the railing like that. And that's the connections to keep dry. Uh, our primary camera is way up there. Uh, it's just another Marco camera, some of these underwater camera on a, on a lighting tripod. So that would, one up there is our primary camera. Our secondary camera is up there, and that's the PTZ Optics 20, 20X, it's hanging up there. Uh, that's uh, just a network cable, because we're using NDI for that. And so here is, here is the setup. So you can see there's our primary camera. I'm using X keys to control wire cast. So there's camera one, camera two, uh, there's just the underwater camera. Uh, camera three is PTZ Optics camera. And with this controller, I can control and move in and, and zoom out. And in Wirecast, I can have presets. So, if I hit that preset, see it moves right there automatically. And that one goes right back. So that's super handy. So I'm tied in to high tech and to the, the console. So you can see there's, there's my results right there. Um, and the newest thing that I set up today is, let's see, oh, nope, all right, is the lane overlays. And so I'm in Wirecast, so those are each a layer in, in, in Wirecast, so I can, I can hide, hide one if there's somebody not there. Uh, audio is right here and this is the audio for the whole venue so this is the PA and crowd and in a venue like this the crowd mic is super important because if you cut the audio um, from the announcer and you don't have crowd mic it goes uh, up to abrupt silence and the crowd mic uh, eliminates that uh, ref mic again that's the that's from the, the starter down there, so we can hear him. Um, and this is to play music. Um, play music off of Spotify from here. And what I have, uh, the PA, the, the in-arena um, audio, is coming off the aux channel. So anything in this board that I don't want going into the arena is just turned down on the aux channel. And you can see right there, I got PA's up and music's up. Everything else is turned down. So the so the starter and the crowd mic, none of that goes over the PA. And so that's lets us do all our audio from just one place. And uh, that's it.